this is yet another one we can see that if you substitute the zero that will have division by zero and in fact in the top if you have h is a zero then this is just going to be a one minus one so we've got zero divided by zero undetermined form which is an indication we need to do algebra and with the algebra the main goal is try to eliminate whatever it is that's causing trouble so in here the division by zero is causing trouble well if we didn't have this radical and we had just h plus one minus one divided by h then the ones could cancel and once the ones cancel we would have h divided by h which is equal to one so in other words we could get the problem which is that h in the denominator to cancel so how can we get rid of the square root well one idea is squaring which is not a good idea in this case because it's a good idea to square in algebra to get rid of a radical when you've got an equation like this and you're able to square both sides of the equation that's legal algebra with this we don't have the other side to square so squaring's out of the question the other idea is that a radical times itself, which is really what the squaring is doing, that'll get rid of the radical. And so, in short, what we do is multiply this by its conjugate, which is the square root, and then use plus one instead of minus one. So in algebra, you have to do the same thing to both sides of an equation with a fraction you have to do the same thing to the numerator and denominator so we need to multiply here by the conjugate that we used in the numerator so we're going to get the limit as h goes to zero the denominator don't multiply it out just write h times the square root of h plus one and then plus one because the whole goal is to get rid of this h. So there's no sense in multiplying it through when we would then just have to factor it in order to get it to cancel. And then as far as multiplying conjugates, you only need to multiply the first term times the first term, which is going to get rid of the radical, leaving only h plus one. And the middle term and the outer terms are the same except they're the opposite sign, so they're gonna cancel. So the only other thing you need to multiply is the last one times the last one, which is going to be a negative one. And then this turned out exactly as I had wanted. Get rid of the radical. Now the ones can cancel. Leaving just the H. And the denominator, leave it as it is for one more step. Now that the ones are gone, we can divide by h in the numerator and denominator. And now that the problem has been eliminated, that that was causing the division by zero, try substituting a zero again. So we're going to get a one for the numerator and a square root of zero plus one, and then plus a one, which is a grand total of one half. Quick check of the calculator. So here's the original function before I did any algebra. And then take a look at the graph. And as we're close to zero for the x value, or over here for the h value, then the function seems to be at a height of a half. So for close to zero, like 0 0.01, then the y value, sure enough, is close to a half. And on the other side, if I used negative 0.01, it's close to a half. So that seems to be right.